Excellent work, my good general. I think we've made an impression, don't you? The lords nearest us will certainly profess loyalty, although the more distant ones still waver. I think, however, we will require a second demonstration. In the frozen waste to the north of us, the Krashaw region, are a number of barbarian tribes that my father did not bother to conquer. These barbarians can be powerful if organized, but fortunately, they never managed it. I'm sending you there to conquer and unify them. They will make excellent foot soldiers in our efforts to put down my brother's rebellion. I have a decision to make. It has come to my attention that Roland has struck an alliance with the King of the Dwarves. I am certain you recognize the potential danger this alliance presents to my... Uh, our position. At the same time, I have received a plea for help from the Necromancer's Guild. It seems that the Wizard's Guild has moved against their ancient rivals while they believe the royal forces to be otherwise occupied. The question I put to you, my general, is shall we shatter the Dwarven Alliance, or shall we rescue the Necromancer's Guild? Congratulations! You have simultaneously weakened our enemies, the Wizards, and strengthened our friends, the Necromancers. The Necromancers Guild sends its undying gratitude and wishes to inform you that one of their best practitioners will always be available to serve you for as long as you serve me. And now I must direct you to an urgent military matter involving the Lorendale Valley Barons. Two have openly declared support for my rebel brother, a crime that I cannot tolerate! You must generate an army from scratch using the castles of two of my loyal supporters. Do not fail me. General, this is Roland, your rightful king. I have a proposal for you. Come and fight on my side. You and I both know that you are wrong to work for my evil brother. It must gnaw at your conscience to know that you serve an unjust usurper. And for what reward? Money? I can give you money too. I offer not just riches, but honor, duty, and purpose. Come join me and serve the cause of justice. Now what say you? Well done, General. The King of the Dwarfs was so unhappy with your work that he has sent me some hate mail. It reads, To Archibald Ironfist, murderous and vile usurper, we bid you down, 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 to burn forever in the fires of eternal damnation. We pray that your foul general, who we name forevermore Dwarfbane, joins you in this fate. <laughs> 
How charming. The King of the Ogres has also sent a message on this matter. It seems that they were pleased with the outcome and have offered to permanently ally with us and send us troops. And now I must direct you to an urgent military matter involving the Lorendale Valley Barons. Two have openly declared support for my rebel brother, a crime that I cannot tolerate. You must generate an army from scratch using the castles of two of my loyal supporters. I will view failure with displeasure. General, this is Roland, your rightful king. I have a proposal for you. Come and fight on my side. You and I both know that you are wrong to work for my evil brother. It must gnaw at your conscience to know that you serve an unjust usurper, and for what reward? Money? I can give you money too. I offer not just riches, but honor, duty, and purpose. Come join me and serve the cause of justice. Now what say you? My pet necromancer overheard your conversation with my brother. You chose wisely. My brother doesn't stand a prayer of winning this war, and your head would have joined his on the chopping block. But don't fear. If you continue to serve me well, I will reward you with an earldom at my brother's summer palace. Now to business. The peasants that plow my fields are staging a rebellion directed by Roland's men. I am directing you to put this rebellion down and capture the leaders of the rebellion. I am sending Lord Colagon to aid you in your fight. Your punishment of the peasants was inspiring, an exemplary job. Our next move is to conquer the rural lords near Roland's castle. While these lords can be defeated using conventional methods, it is the firm opinion of my chief warlock advisor that the aid of the Dragon King would be an effective weapon against our enemies. Unfortunately, the Dragon King will not help us voluntarily. What is your counsel, my general? Shall we launch an immediate attack against Roland's vassals, or shall we first conquer the dragons? Well done. The Dragon King is cooperating with us now, and I have him on a short leash. <laughs> they will supply extra forces for our armies and will cooperate if you encounter any in the wild. Carry on with the attack against Roland's vassals. Your swift elimination of those country lords almost makes it look easy. Perhaps next time you should slow down a little just to give them a sporting chance. <laughs> the time to prepare for the final attack against Roland has come. My advisors are of two minds. 
One is that we should focus our efforts on gathering the armies necessary to defeat Roland, while the other is to search for the ultimate artifact. Since you are the man in the field, what is your decision? Our finest hour is upon us. Roland's forces have retreated to the province around his castle, and Roland, the fool, cowers in his summer palace, awaiting our final strike. You have gathered your forces for this final battle. Now go! Crush the rebellion, and bring my brother back in chains.